All right, let's talk about what has been going on in the WordPress community. We have a best YouTuber competition. We have Divi rolling out a new update, and we also have tons of companies selling off their products. I think I know why. We're, we're, we're going to talk about that. Also, I might have a new uh, partner here on the Daryl Wilson channel, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, let me know if you guys like this background. You know, I've been kind of going back and forth with my uh internal team and they're like yeah you should go back and i'm like man i think you guys are right you know the thing was i bought a new camera it really wasn't working well so i feel like the old setup might be better but i should make a poll but uh let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below but let's go ahead and talk about some wordpress news now tempo monster they have introduced a very passionate contest and Tempo Monster, you know, I, they're like, they're like whatever, you know, I, I never really uh, promote their products too much, except for the Crocoblox plugin. They are part of that family as well. And they have introduced a really nice marketing campaign of who is the best WordPress YouTuber. And you guys can actually go vote on who you think is the best WordPress YouTuber. It looks like WP Tuts is number one. So we have some catching up to do, but personally, I, I think his channel is actually really good because he talks about a lot of the technical stuff that I, I just, I don't, I don't uh, want to talk about, but the guy goes in detail. He gets in like those nitty gritty niches and he really does provide a lot of good value in his videos. But uh, this is just not the only uh, thing you can vote on. You can vote on the best uh, page builder, the best Gutenberg add-ons, the best uh, hosting. Did they add name hero on here yet? Did they add there? I think I asked them to put it on. They did not put on. Who is Rose hosting? Who, who is that? You know, never, never even heard about them. But uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead and vote on some of these, uh, you know, these little things I got going on. I think they're pretty interesting. And it's a great marketing campaign because obviously you're, got, you're gonna get emails from them later saying, hey, did you see the new uh, template monster pack? You know, or something like that. But I do admire their uh, campaign here and it's, for, it's fun, you know, the contest ends uh, December 1st. So be sure to enter and get your voice heard. Next. Elementor has introduced the Elementor Academy, which basically talks about the basics of Elementor, how to make your website responsive, how to use the motion effects and animations and all this other stuff. But my personal advice, guys, don't take design tips from Elementor. Their designs are very questionable. I think their site is bleh. <laughs> You know, the the colors and the style they use, it's just, it looks horrible. I'm just gonna be very honest with you all, but uh, I'm sure they have really good instructors here. so. Uh, you can learn about responsive, you know, and I actually read one of their uh, shorts on YouTube and the girl actually made a good point that I actually brought up in my video I made. Sometimes when you make these websites, you have to take elements out uh, only for mobile preview because it just doesn't work when you try to put everything on your desktop to your mobile. You have to take some things out uh, specifically for mobile because it just makes things look a lot more cleaner and nicer. So they do have a lot of interesting topics here. And if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and read through these. Uh, they are pretty pretty well made, actually. I, I went through some of these already, and some of them are really helpful. So uh, after you guys kind of get the basics of WordPress, but you want to go a little bit deeper, uh, check out the Elementor Academy. I will also be having a new kind of design series coming up. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but uh, I have some really nice templates for you guys coming out and um, preview websites and stuff like that. So yeah, be sure to check out the Elementor Academy. And have you guys seen the new Divi update? This is actually pretty impressive because I was talking to Mac and he's like, yeah, did you see the new Divi update? And I was like, whatever, bro. <laughs> you know, like, what is it now, you know? But when I actually saw the update, I was like, oh my God, this is pretty good. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, the, it wasn't the typical update we've always seen, like, oh, your website will be 90% faster. Uh, this update right here actually has Divi conditions, displaying conditions based off users' actions. So for example, you can see here how uh, Nick Roach is making this video and they have conditions even based off of date and time. So for example, in this example, they used selling pizza. Let me go back here to give you a little example here. They used uh, selling pizza right here and you can show banners based off of specific days. So let's say for example, you're selling the pizza, you got a big sale on, on Thursday or Friday, you can have displaying conditions displaying specific elements on Thursday and Friday, which is, I gotta be honest, that is really damn creative. I really do think that's an amazing update. Also, they have um, conditions based off of logged in status. And they do have this for like membership websites already, but now you can use it with the page builder. So once they log in to their uh, to your website, you can actually add new sort of elements or new banners or just something just to say, hey guys, you know, we, we got this going on or whatever. 
something like that. They also have it for WooCommerce, which is really cool. So they have actions when you add stuff to the carts, they can then display specific uh, banners or if they go back to a page or something like that. And you guys can check out this video and I'm sure it's overlooked because whenever I see a lot of the updates, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of skeptical on a lot of the updates, but this update, I was just like, man, this is an amazing update. I really do like it. I will be having a tutorial on Divi very soon. And you know, to you guys who, who use Divi, I don't neglect Divi or I, I have been neglecting Divi. <laughs> I mean, let me just lay out my cards there. You know, like I have been neglecting Divi. And the only reason why that is because I've just been getting so much requests to do Elementor videos. And when I first started here on YouTube, I mainly did Divi. And then the audience has just been saying Elementor, Elementor, Elementor. And I do like Elementor, but I also do get tired of talking about Elementor all the time, you know, but we won't talk about Gutenberg just yet. We, we gotta, that's, we'll talk about Divi. We'll, 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 Divi, Brizzy, Elementor are my, my go-to builders. Gutenberg, we're not just there yet. I personally don't like Gutenberg. I've used it and it's just something that I really want, wouldn't want to build websites with just yet. Maybe in the future, maybe when they improve their UI or something, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. But um, yeah, that's my opinion. Let me go ahead and check my volume is on here. Okay, uh, I recorded this video before and my mic wasn't on. YouTube struggles, you know. Next, let's talk about Brizzy. Brizzy has introduced this new interface to their website along with some updates that they were kind of not talking about and I don't know why. So you guys have might have noticed one of the biggest drawbacks with Brizzy was the fact that you can't really export and import templates. Well, now you can. And that's gonna cause a bunch of third-party marketplaces to open up Brizzy templates and start selling them for a dollar. You know, you're gonna see a lot of these companies uh, pop up selling Brizzy templates. So for example, over here under my saved layout, you can see we have layouts. Now I've been saving these a lot. So you can see here how I've been testing this. And now you can go ahead and download this layout right here by going over here, clicking on download, and it'll download as a zip file. Then you can take that zip file and go to another Brizzy website and then upload it. So now you can kind of take your work and save it, which I really do like. Before this was only, uh, uh, I guess, feasible with the cloud. Now you can use it with WordPress. So that is a really cool update that they have introduced. They've also added a lot of new uh, templates and designs. So they did have a really major big update. So go ahead and check it out, you know, and uh, if you guys wanna buy Brizzy, I'll leave a link below, you know, we can, we can go half on the commissions, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know, we, we, I'm just joking. That's a really easy way to get kicked out of an affiliate program. But uh, yeah, that's that. Next, let's talk about easy digital downloads. Now, um, this plugin has kind of been on the decline and I didn't think it was on the decline till I actually watched a YouTube video I made about two years ago. Now, this video I made from Easy Digital Downloads was about two years ago, and they had around 60,000 active installs. And it turns out, as of right now, I believe they're at 50,000. So they've lost around 10,000 active installs over the last two years. So I think they sold to WP Beginner because maybe they felt that they can help rebrand them, remarket them, or maybe even change their pricing. But uh, we are seeing a lot of new companies, not new companies, just a lot of WordPress companies selling off their products in general. And I think there's a lot of different factors for that. I think one of them is the market is just so competitive. People keep lowering their prices. They want everything for free. And it just puts the normal developer in a situation where he's saying, look, man, I'm not racing to the bottom no more. You know, I'm just gonna, um, whatever. I'm just gonna sell to, to Liquid Web or these big guys and make $3 million and then just go retire, uh, come to Koh Samoy, Thailand with me, retire on the beach, something like that, you know, cause that's, that's, that's the life, you know, but uh, we are seeing, in fact, they sold almost all of their products to WP Beginner, not just easy to downloads, but affiliate WP, um, all of their plugins and everything. And you know, I'm I, I don't know I don't know why they weren't succeeding because I did like their product. You know, EDD was a great product, and I think it is better than WooCommerce because they have licensing. They have a lot of uh, you have more control with EDD than WooCommerce when creating digital download websites. So uh, we'll see how the future play, uh, pans out. You know, maybe Ezo Downloads will introduce some new you know new stuff or whatever. Me personally. I, I feel that a lot of companies in the future will be selling off and I kind of dislike it a little bit because I feel like these large corporations, uh, they cannot give these plugins the attention they need and keep pushing out updates. But then again, maybe the market just isn't there for that plugin. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But 
Uh, we're gonna see W Beginner obviously make a lot of tutorials on, <laughs> you know, like every tutorial they make now is just about their products. Like they don't, they no longer promote other people's products. And I can, I can, I can understand. I can understand why they do that because um, I work with devs and I know, you know, I, I know the struggle. But uh, yeah, so that's that's that. You know, they did sell off their product, and you know that is the website. In case you were wondering who they were, uh, let's talk about the next company who sold off. Yoast. Yo sold off to the infamous EIG company. Ooh, they're gonna get you. Now, um, I guess EIG, you know, because of YouTubers like myself, we have this negative outlook towards EIG. You know, I really only have a negative outlook towards EIG because of HostGator, you know, because they screwed over all their affiliates and their hosting went to crap. So yeah, you know, I have a, a nasty taste in my mouth with, with EIG, but uh, they created this new subsidiary company called New Full, new Full Digital trying to get away from that, you know, we're not EIG, we're in another company, but it's EIG. And they did acquire Yoast. So um, again, that could just be because it's harder to sell uh, SEO plugins. Like a lot of you watching this video probably never even upgraded to Yoast Premium because you just never really had a reason to. So I think this is also just due to the competition. Maybe Rank Math was just offering a lot of stuff for free and Yoast just felt, you know what, this industry sucks and that's how it is. And I don't mean to, you know, badmouth any other developers, but when you're a developer and you start giving all your stuff for free, it damages the market for everybody. And even yourself, you might get active installs, but everyone loses money here. And we're seeing that because everyone is selling off their products because of you guys who leave those comments. I want everything for free. No, no, no. You're part of the problem, but not the whole problem. <laughs> right? I'm just joking. Uh, next, LearnDash, they also have sold off their product. So sad, you know, LearnDash was a great product, but this doesn't mean that they're gonna go, you know, to crap. They just decided to sell off. And I don't necessarily think that uh, LearnDash was not making money. I think LearnDash was making a lot of money with their product. Uh, the owner actually kind of made a blog post just saying, you know what guys, uh, I made this product and uh, I'm just not passionate about it no more. And I don't think I can give it the attention it needs. He did make a blog post about it. He does seem very genuine. And I really understand his argument, you know, in WordPress as a dev, it's very easy to get burned out because you have thousands of support tickets. You have minimal profit, you know, your money's your, your money's good, but uh, he does state that it was just burning him out and that he just, he just wasn't passionate about it no more. So I think he made the right choice here. You know, he probably did make a few million dollars. Um, I, I don't know. I'm thinking he probably made a few million bucks, but uh, as a dev, or as someone in the WordPress community, I know that uh, when it's very competitive, it's very hard to kind of uh, make enough money, make a living for yourself, especially if you're living in places like USA or California, which everyone <laughs> has left, including myself. I mean, this is like Newport Beach right here. You know, I obviously uh, was looking at some real estate and for those of you who are thinking, well, you know, uh, is it expensive to live in California? Yeah, but if you wanna live in a nice area of California, like Newport Beach, obviously, you gotta have big bucks, you know? And uh, looking at these houses, these houses are not big, you know? Uh, 1,700 square feet for almost $2 million. Uh, 1,700 square feet in meters. Uh, that's about, what, like 180 meters or something like that. So it's, I think, right? I'm, I, I think it's 1,000 a thousand a square feet is 80 meters, right? Or something like that. I don't know, I could be wrong. But uh, these houses are really not big at all. And they're going for like the two, you know, these ones obviously are larger. You know, these are like mansions but a lot of the houses are just normal size. Like, look at this one, you know, 2,000 square feet for $2 million. Like, that is really expensive, you know, and I, maybe these people, these devs just can't afford uh, to be selling these products for cheaper, so they just said, you know what, let me just sell it and do something else, whatever. But uh, good for him, you know, good for him. Next, we have the new Gutenberg updates. I think it was 11 point something. It was 11 point something, and they have replaced the widgets and I hate it. I really don't like it. And we have to just get used to it because this is what we're dealt with. So you guys have might've noticed that when you go to widgets, that now the widgets <clears throat> are blocks and now you're going to have to use blocks or these, uh, the blocks for the widgets. Um, I think this is, you know, it's a change that's, I don't know. I, I don't think it needed to be made to be honest. I think they're doing this because they want to uh, just use Gutenberg. They're saying we want to use Gutenberg for everything and this is their product So we have to just follow the rules But essentially what you would do here is you would just start adding in your own widgets here and then you would you know add a block Paragraph and then you would you know work on it like that. I believe you can also use it on the front end as well 
but uh, I'm not, I actually I'm not sure if you can use it on the front end. We'll have to we'll have to make a video on that. But uh, I don't want to dive too deep into this. But I'm just letting you know that your widgets have been replaced with blocks. So that's you know something that they're you know starting to roll out. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys like the blocks here? Do you think that this is um, you know do you think this was a good update? Um, me, I'm I'm very I don't know. I'm kind of neutral about it because the widgets were kind of a little dated, but they worked really well. You know, I felt like I can use everything really easily. This right here, this just looks a little messy. In fact, even when I click on it, you can see it changes everything. It's like, it is a little messy, but then again, this is the first major update. So we probably will see improvements to this a little bit later. And fingers crossed that this will be uh, looking a lot nicer, a lot more organized than something like this. I think uh, teaching people how to make, uh, you know, using widgets like this, it's just not, it just doesn't look good. And it's also, it's also complicated. Uh, also, for those of you who were using WooCommerce, you guys might want to update to, I believe it was 5.7. There was some sort of big vulnerability where people can actually see how much money you're making on your store. So you might want to update uh, WooCommerce to the latest version. Just make sure that you can roll back just in case your website breaks or something like that. But uh, yeah, that was a large security problem out there. And also uh, WordCamp released, launched, and there was this speech by let themes be themes. And that was very interesting because this came directly from Automatic, which was created by Tammy Lister, which is like the lead developer over at Automatic. And, you know, I, I'm, I think I'm starting to understand like the WordPress, um, I guess the WordPress approach here, because I think they want to kind of have themes come out and actively make the websites. And I think they don't like page builders doing everything. and. You know, corporations like Automatic will never say this. They will never say what they really think, but you can kind of guess by their actions. And it looks like now they're trying to say, oh, page builders will be used less and less. Let themes be themes. Uh, maybe maybe here they're trying to have Gutenberg as their primary builder and kind of have themes, kind of adding the style and the core of their, um, you know, of their whole uh, website. Because uh, now that Elementor and Divi have this new theme builder, uh, they're kind of taking away like, themes, you know, because you don't really need themes no more. And I think, um, you know, I, I want to see this keynote. I didn't really see uh, her speak. And I looked at WordPress and I couldn't find this and I didn't attend it because, um, oh, I could have. I was actually editing a video. <laughs> so maybe next time. But uh, yeah, that's the news for, that is the news for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about everything I said. Let me know about my background, if it's nice. Um, you guys have anything you want to ask me about future videos, let me know. I do have some videos coming out soon. Uh, again, I don't like to say what I'm going to release because then a lot of people make those videos and they spit it out right before I do. And that just, you know, it's, it's the frustrating part of being a YouTuber, but, uh, I just tend not to, I, I used to talk about it, but then when I ever talked about it, I'd have all these other competitors releasing the same videos, like right before I did. And I'm like, Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it no more. <laughs> you know, so anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.